All right, all right. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Honey Badger Agent Attraction Q and A. Got uh, soon to be Gringo Rican. Is that what? Yep, that's right. Gringo. They call me Gringo Rican. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Get my drive. My official Puerto Rico driver's license. <laughs> that and it only took you how many months to to get that? Yeah, to get the appointment and everything. It took, uh, I guess, well, every bit of seven months. So. Oh, that's just too funny. Too funny. What's up, everybody, man? Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. If this is the first time you've joined, Mr. Kinder and myself, um, man, we are here to uh, help you guys get clear, get get um, unstuck. Anything that is is really going on in your head, anything that you guys need help with, with Asian Attraction, we do have a lot of stuff that we can throw at you guys today. It's uh, been uh been stacking up we had uh some some great events some great trips and um man i know what, what is it uh you're you're sitting there chewing your arm off ready to jump in i'll let you kind of kind of cannonball in and and let's hit on some, yeah, of the, some of the hot stuff that we've been been able to see and be a part of yeah man so so you know for those of you don't that don't know how the sprint works essentially um you know esp puts on um um, a time they, they give us a time limit and whoever can recruit, I think it was three agents. I think that's what they used the last two times, two times. Yep. Um, and, and the fastest during that period gets invited to a regional sprint, which is, um, um, you know, maxed out at about a hundred each. So of these three sprints, you could be brand new. You could be in the, in the, in the company for, for as long as we've been in the company, it doesn't matter. But it, it, as long as you hit three, um, you know, until it hits that, until it hits hundred people, you get invited to a sprint. And so, um, and those sprints are led by um, some of the leaders in the company. So they, they pick two people to lead um, each sprint. There was one in Nashville, one was in uh, Phoenix, one was in, in DC. And so the content's gonna be uh, pretty much in alignment, but different people delivering um, on that content. So they had different people come in, some, some people from outside uh, the company and, and mostly um, agents that are, you know, doing well successfully at agent attraction. And so, a lot of a lot of really good uh, information gets transferred uh, really quickly, and so you know we're obviously of, of um, you know the belief that you know going to live events has always been it's always it's a success trait. It's success. I think it's a success trait in life. Um, <laughs> it has been for us, and and every time every time I get out of the comfort of of my home and <laughs> in Puerto Rico and get on a plane that goes a long ways to an event, something magical always happens. And, um, and that's, you know, that's something that you got to commit to. If you're, if you're committed to age and attraction, then you want to be committed to going to events, getting to events, getting your people to events as you, as you bring people into the company and create leaders underneath you, you want to make sure you're getting those people to events because what happens at these live events is people, uh, they pick up on something, they learn something, they get excited, they get refocused on the opportunity side of the business. And that's how your team is going to grow. That's how your team is going to um, you know, continue to build and work with, with or without you, right? You know, you want to be a leader, be there at those events and sit in front and center um, and being a leader, lead by example, but you want to make sure that your people are coming. So um, it was a great event, you know, um, ton, of, ton of great information as always, um, you know, Chase the Miles crushed a presentation on YouTube. I thought it was really excellent, breaking down exactly what he's doing uh, to create videos that are getting interest and people are reaching out, you know, inbound people that you don't know, don't necessarily know like and trust you but they watch enough videos and, and create some inbound. That was excellent. We can talk through some of that. And then, um, you know, they had a guy by the name of Coach Burt that uh, spoke and had no idea who this guy was, had no idea he was going to um, push all the right buttons. But, um, you know, in, in, in retrospect, myself and Al both have spent uh, you know, $40,000 for coaching, not just for us, but really for this entire group. And so I'm super excited because he, he really tapped into something I felt what he tapped into and, and he teaches a formula for how to tap into that with others and without getting into all the details, it was just a, a fascinating process that he used to really tap into um, and get me to take action. So pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. I'm excited to bring it to the table. I think he brings a different dynamic to these conversations. And I feel like most all of us have, which is like, what do I say? How do I, you know, what does the conversation look like when I'm talking to an agent? And so, um, I was really excited and I'm excited to um, introduce him as we will probably over the next month. And you know, he'll be at some of the events, I think up to eight events that we'll have next year. He'll be um, doing a special day for the Honey Badger group that we're going to iron out some of that. And um, pretty, pretty fun stuff, man. It's all about, you know, growth and um, and taking it to the next level. So I'm ready to rock and roll. 
Yeah, it's so powerful. I mean, I you know, I just just thinking back, I remember like how many times have we gone up the escalator, leaving or getting on a flight, and go, God dang man, I'm so glad we we came, right? And right. it's so easy leading up to it to talk ourselves out of it, right? We can justify not going. And then, and then you get there, you're like, Oh my gosh, I'm so glad, so glad I made it. And, and whatever, whatever it is, right. You always have that, that slight distinction, that slight breakthrough, that slight, slight reinforcement, you know, sometimes that's just as powerful, right. You know, you get the reinforcement that you're on the right path and that you're, you know, you, you are, you know, progressing and, and doing the things you need to do. But yeah, coach Burt was, was definitely a highlight uh, from, from Nashville. Um, and, and really the takeaways, um, yeah, the, the video, the YouTube, I mean, it was, it was really, it was really awesome. Um, just kind of looking back through, through my notes, I know I've, (laughs) I've, I've referenced them a few times just, uh, just since the event and, and being able to, to kind of share and look at things and kind of programming in the right way. So it was, uh, it was really good. Really Hang good stuff. Hey, this um, I don't know why, but I'm getting your audios like it's just cutting out big time. I think it's mine because my uh, my internet went out a little while ago, and then the generator ch- kicked on, and so I think I'm just I've got just a bad connection. So let me let me jump out and jump right back in and see if that okay. works. Okay, cool. Can you guys hear us? Uh, can you hear Can you hear me? Okay, uh, if you guys tuning in, give us uh, give me give me some love if you guys can hear hear okay. So hopefully it was just on his end. Maybe it is on my end. Maybe you can't even hear me. <laughs> Let's see. I'm back. This You're is, back. Is it? Is it still cutting no, out? It's still, still messed up. I don't know. Um, I can hear you. Okay, it's just um, every once right. in a while it's difficult. Well, I'll let you uh, kind of share. They want to hear more about Coach Burt, and they they want to hear a little bit more about the YouTube structure. Um, yeah. So yeah. Sure. So so. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so he broke down. So, well, first of all, um, just just so you know, like I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be able to like perfect perfectly, even though I've already been through like four hours of his content, I'm not gonna be able to perfectly convey what needs to be conveyed. But uh, I'll I'll give it my best. We're gonna turn this all into coaching and training for you guys. So the same thing with the YouTube as well, uh, the YouTube strategy as well. So we cover a little bit of that and give you guys some ideas today. But that's you know just some things that we're working on internally. We want to create better systems and processes for you guys and and stuff that makes it easy for you guys to go out and duplicate. So. Um, yeah, so one of the things that, um, you know, that, that Michael Burt did really well, Coach Burt, um, was he, well, he calls it activate the prey drive, which is, um, you know, that killer instinct that you have as an, you know, that animals have and, and wanting to go out and accomplish a goal. And for me, um, just being completely transparent, you know, um, have, I've had a little bit of a challenge knowing what that next milestone is for me. And so, you know, it, it kind of gets to the point where this thing kind of grows and you kind of really don't have to do a whole lot. It just keeps growing. And so you don't really know what, you know, what that next move is or what that next milestone is that really gets you excited and gets you pumped up. And, and so, you know, I, I've, I've been knowing that I needed a coach, didn't really know, you know, which direction to go as far as all that goes and who I, who I might want. I've had so many mentors over the years, but he dialed in exactly what I needed to hear. And so he, he said, let me tell you what I believe. I believe that every human being is more capable of what they're currently at, the state they're currently at, they could accomplish you know, a lot more in their, in their business and in their life. And I believe every person needs a coach. I believe that the right coach can activate that person and get them, you know, get them to the level that, that they would never have got otherwise. And so he hits me with like three of these little bullet points of what his beliefs are. And then they're the same beliefs that I've got, right? And so you know, my, my whole life, I mean, we have a coaching cup. You know I've, been sitting, like, I've been sitting beside you long enough to, to see that look when something clicked. I saw it too. I started right. laughing. I was laughing because I saw it. I knew it. I've seen it too many times before. It's like, when I know something lands on you, I just, I just smile because I know what's coming. <laughs> right. Well, it, well it's, it, it's funny when it happens to you because, you know, like, you know, it, and it's, you know, for you, like you're disciplined, you're doing it every day. You, you've got, you know, you're, 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 you're crushing your goals every single day. For me, I'm looking for like, all right, what's that? What's that? You know, where's that? Where's that fire that I've had my whole career, well, like my whole life? Because the pressure has always been on, right? There was always some kind of pressure that was always on. And so when the pressure is off, it just kind of it messes with you until you until you activate, get activated. And he activated me, and I'm really glad he did. But yeah, once you know, no different than you know what you know. You, the, when the right words are used, 
some people run to the back of the room and buy whatever shit's being sold. And, yep. and, and it's understanding the philosophy and, and really understanding the patterns and what exactly was, is being said that, that activates someone is what's, is, is what's important. So that's why I hired him as a coach because he activated me. He got me out of my seat into the back of the room and be like, I'm, I'm one, I want to work with you. Right. And so it's the same thing that we want to activate in people that we want to partner with this at EXP. We want to tap into what their beliefs are and be able to convey to them a message that makes them want to, do, run through walls to come over and do business with us, but you got to understand what their beliefs are first. And so there's going to be multiple vari variables around, you know, different beliefs for different things. Um, there's not going to be just one simple script, but I think the, the, the understanding people's position and who you're looking for, I'm looking for people that, that want to grow. I'm looking for people that want to take their business to the next level. And, you know, what I believe is that if you had the right coach and the right mentor, um, and the right people around you that you can accomplish anything and you can do it in, you know, twice as much as you half the time. It's like when you're, when you make, when you say things like that and that resonates with someone, it, it, it attracts them like a magnet. And so that's what he did to me. And, um, and so uh, we're working on that. We're going to have him um, really helping us hone in some, some of these scripts and some of these, com these conversation pieces um, and, and teaching all you guys, there's a, there's a whole lot to more to it than just that. But that was the piece that, that when he got my attention, um, I knew that he had something special that that I could learn and um, and something that I hadn't really tapped into when it comes to the Asian attraction stuff. So pretty, pretty cool stuff. But that's uh, that's kind of the, the 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 gist of it in the in the short term. I know that that uh, when you say the right words to the right people, uh, magical things happen. And, and I think we could all do better at that. That's that's basically what I picked up on. Yeah, it was it was cool. I just sent you um, um, Andy Frischella's, um podcast episode that he had with uh, um, Tim Grover. Uh, winning, kind of talking through winning, uh, the, right. the, the real, the real AF uh, podcast with, with Andy. I just sent it to you, bro. You got to listen to that episode just because right, exactly everything you just said, they touch on for like 20 minutes. They talk about and, nice. and Grover. So I guess Grover coaches for Sella right. and, and he, you know, and what Grover told him is like, like you guys would die if you weren't doing what you're doing, right? Like you would, it would be disaster. Right. So, and they were just talking about high performers and athletes and things like that. You got to listen to it, man. It's, it's unbelievable. I'm on it. Unbelievable. Hey, so touch on, touch on more on YouTube uh, videos, strategies, formats. Cause we've been, we've been, we've been hot on YouTube for quite some time. And um, it's, it's cool to see those that are really taking massive action with it and the results they're getting um, man, kind of, kind of share some of those big nuggets for you. Yeah. So, so, um, so a couple of things that, that, um, you know, first of all, everybody does, if you don't know Chase and Miles, he's not, he's not in, he's not a honey badger, but he's a honey badger, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, um, and, and he's done, he's done a really good job of, of leveraging YouTube and, um, I've done a pretty good job of leveraging YouTube as well, but the, the, the angle, and there's multiple things you can do and, and multiple approaches you can, you could, you could, uh, you could take, I think Mike's doing, if y'all, if y'all aren't subscribed to Michael Reese's channel and watching his videos, the dude's dropping so much phenomenal content it's just unbelievable um it really is um he's a machine i don't know how else to describe the dude but he's a machine and he, he's sharing you know the things that we've learned over a long long time in business and he's putting out some really great content so i highly recommend you be pumping you know putting that putting that on your playlist for sure um and and it, you know his angle is a little different he's taking people teaching them you know principles about how to grow the real estate business which you know there's a wider audience of people that are looking to do that and and they're you know they're not looking to join EXP, but you know you take them, build an audience, add value, and then you know ultimately convert that to a conversation about EXP. That's one strategy. That's the hard way to do it, in my opinion. But it's also the one that has the most shelf life and is going to always produce fruit for uh, for you know for years to come. The 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 angle that that um, that I think uh, Jason is is kind of morphed to, which is same thing that I've done, which is is creating YouTube content around EXP. And the reason why that's important is because every person that you guys talk to about EXP, which we shouldn't be talking to people about EXP, we could get into that again. But that you know, if you're talking about EXP, you're doing it the wrong way. That's the first thing. But if you know what, what happens is most people don't want to move brokerages, so they say, no, 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 I don't want to hear about it. But you might be the third or the fifth or the tenth agent that said something about EXP to them this week. So what do they do? They go on, they go online and they search EXP and they start surfing into videos. Well, there's a tool and um, it's called answerthepublic.com. I, I can't post it on here. Uh, right? I don't think we can. Yeah, so yeah. somebody, somebody, we, because we can't post on, on this because of this little tool that we're using here, StreamYard, somebody post, put, put that in the comments just so everybody will see it because I know you're going to ask. Uh, answerthepublic.com. 
and it and it's a it's a tool. There's two tools that I use for YouTube, and I highly recommend. One is called Tube Buddy, T U B E B U D D Y. Tube Buddy, probably the most the coolest integrative tool that I've ever used for anything. Like I just think it's an incredible tool for um, um, really your you know the creating of everything from the creating of the graphics in, in your thumbnails down to every check in the box, a checklist of things that they recommend to monetize or to 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 optimize your videos on YouTube. And so it does all the heavy lifting of you having to know, hey, did I do this? Did I add an end to screen? All those types of things. It walks you through everything. It's very robust and it's very, very cool. Also does all your keyword research things, gives you suggestions. It shows you which which ones have um, a lot of you know a lot of search key search terms and, and which ones don't. But answer answer the public is just a tool that just does that part. So like if you don't have TubeBuddy, you can go to answerthepublic.com, put in EXP Realty and see all the variations of questions people are asking. People are Create videos and then tap and put those tags in those videos so that when people are taking, you know, EXP Realty Review, that, you know, your video comes up. And so um, those are those are just, um, um, again, the strategy here is, you know, people that are further along in the funnel, right? So like there are people that do a home search that are not interested in buying a home right now. And then there are people that say, you know, show me brand new construction in, you know, Windermere Ranch, you know, from 200 to 500,000. So that's that's somebody that's further along in the process of ready to do something. And so people that are searching anything EXP term related are more likely um, or further along in the process a lot of times. And so it's kind of finding the low hanging fruit. So this strategy works. You know, there's a lot of people that do it better than I'm I, that I do it um, that are in our group, as, as a matter of fact. So uh, but it definitely is something that we, we should all be, um, you know, something that we could all be considering. And again, I love the reason I love you know content. And I love YouTube is because. You know, the videos that I did two years ago are still getting somebody's watching one of my videos right now. And somebody's probably going to end up in my calendar this week because they're watching videos that I created yep. two years ago. And so, like, that's the, you know, that's, what, again, one of those disciplines that, you know, consistently, if you're consistently cranking out content, whether it's interviews of people that have joined and telling their story, which is what I did most of, um, those are the easiest because you don't have to be very good with the content. You just have to have somebody that can answer those questions and tell, <laughs> tell a story. Um, but but those are those are great ways to do it. So, um <clears throat> And you can go to Chase and Miles um, and look at his. Actually, I don't have um, the photo. Let me pull it up here. Um, he had six videos that he recommended that are the ba the main basis of what he has that's out there. And um, and I think this is generally speaking, we should be doing this for every person that joins underneath us and making sure that either you're creating that content for yourself and it also is going to help them, or that you know if they have their own YouTube channel, they should be doing it as well. And we could probably I could come back in and post this photo here too, but. Uh, <laughs> You could find this just by going to Chasten J Miles um, YouTube channel. Um, let me see here. I take too many photos. Man, what an epic night in Nashville, though. Man, first trip yeah, it was great. It was uh, unbelievable. What? <laughs> Dustin, so Dustin, Dustin Black is amazing. Yeah. Totally amazing. Um, so here's what he has. He has why I joined EXP. Okay, that's one video. Why I joined EXP. Um, the next one he has is as 90 day review. EXP 90 day review. Um, you know, EXP is it is it better? Um, one, one year at EXP. Um, EXP and new agents, and then EXP truths. So those are the ones that he created. Obviously, I think you could you could you know you could you could innovate around that and probably even maybe find some some um, some different keywords and stuff that might stand out a little bit. But, um, but yeah, and those, you know, look at his look at his channel, look what he's doing and you know, duplicate. So um, definitely, definitely some good strategies around that. I thought he, he broke down a really good, a really good process for, um, you know, his call to action um, on those videos to see he took him to. He had a little three step funnel. He kind of and he's real direct, right? Partner with chased him, par partner with miles, whatever it is. Right. And um, he took them right into a, just a simple little three-step funnel survey, get a little bit of information about them, then take them to an explainer video. Right. So that was super important. And you, in, 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 you know, that's best practice. You've talked about that for four years. They've got to watch a video before they get on the calendar. Right. So they understand the concept somewhat of, of EXP and the model, because if they haven't watched it, they really don't know or truly understand the model. I mean, how many people have you asked, like they're like, nah, I'm good. Like, well, explain the model to me, and they can't explain the model, right? But they think they know it. Thank and you, Gino. 
by the way, thank you, uh, thank you, Juan, thank you, Gino, for uh, for typing this stuff in here. And yeah, so, man. Gino, 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 he, he might have been there. He must have been there. Either that, or he's yeah. he's uh, yeah, been paying there. real close yeah. attention because uh, he's got the formula <laughs> broke down uh, for his YouTube content flow. So, um, you know, attention grabber, uh, introduce yourself, call to action, teaser, uh, bumper, and then my chat things in the way topic. Yeah, teach them something, call to action, and close. So, yeah. pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Everybody should be considering doing. If you're not, um, obviously we're, we're here to answer any questions you guys have. If you have something specific, we'd love to to help answer any questions you have as it relates to the agent attraction opportunity. What other things do you have? That do you have anything else, John? Uh, that is, uh, yeah, real quick, give give the results. Chasing has uh, has accomplished with his YouTube strategy and being at EXP. How many frontline recruits does he have? Say that again. Who is it? Chasen, how many frontline recruits does he have? Who? Chasen? Yeah. It was like 135 or 55, something like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. And and uh, and the thing is, and this this happened to me. There was two people that said it. It's like, you know how you know you should be doing something, and then you could, you know, you're not really doing it at the level you could be doing it. Um, and then somebody says something, you're like, man, I knew I should have been doing that. And that was kind of my odds because I was talking to um, Kyle Handy and uh, both Kyle Handy and Chasen Miles both made the same comment within five minutes of each other, not not knowing that they both said the same thing was that they had two or three people signing up per month that don't they, that this show up and and this show up in their in their back end. And so, like, that's a that's a that's a that's not a, I mean, that's not what you want to happen. You want to be able to um, impact that whole process and 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 you know provide a, a you know additional value to them as they're coming on board. So you don't want them to come in without talking to you. But but it was just evidence that people are joining EXP based upon the videos that they're watching. And so you can really create a, a, an amazing inbound agent attraction uh, formula if you're putting out the right content. Yeah, and and here's the thing, guys, is that you know they're building a relationship with you and you're creating and, and having a relationship from afar with your content. They're having a relationship with your content. And we were, we were heading to um, kind of a kickoff celebration for one of our uh, longtime clients and, and driving into Tyler, Texas. And we're, we're heading down in the car and we get in Jay gets a phone call and she's just excited. She's like, I've never met you. I've never talked to you but I know you, she goes, I consume all of your content. And so she forms that relationship. This is why you guys have to lean in, create content, tell stories, talk about what's going on. And because people, people are watching and they're consuming and they're building a relationship with you from afar. And so, you know, if you guys aren't doing that, it's going to be harder and harder to build those relationships. Right. hundred percent. Man, um, yeah, and, and to put a, to to put a little more emphasis on the power of this, um, and since I've been at EXP, th I'm not quite four years, three, a little over three and a half years now. Um, I've personally sponsored 126 agents. Um, Ninety of those agents are still with us today. So, Chasen is is in just a little over a year. I think he said um, that he's been mm -hmm. at EXP has recruited more agents than I have in three and a half years with just the strategy he's using with YouTube. So definitely, um, you know, and, and Chauncey fans, another example of that Gogo is another example of that not with YouTube, but with, um, uh, you know, you're leveraging social media. And so, you know, it, it's, it, you know, YouTube is the real deal. And, uh, and, and certainly there's room out there for more, you know, for more content and uh, more people, you know, some people are going to you know gravitate to chase them or maybe Chauncey fan. And then some people are going to gravitate to whoever else. So like, if you got a unique angle, and especially if you have a unique story, you know, it's uh, certainly an opportunity. hundred percent. So, Gino, the um, man, CRM, I, you know, here, here's, you know, I know the truth. You know what Jay CRM was for the last three and a half years? Mm. Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> yeah. I, that, I mean, I, you know, yeah. I don't it, know it, if you want to recommend that, but. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, yeah. It, you, know, it, you know, anything's better than nothing, I guess. And, and we, we did use HubSpot in the very beginning and then. Um, you know, then, you know, but, but most of what we were, you know, uh, what we were doing was, was trackable, you know, in Excel, but in terms of the relate, and, and that's just because it's a relationship business. I think, you know, I think, you know, it, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a, a reset coming probably in terms of the technology that we've been using and, and some things that we could do that would, that would make a lot more sense in terms of, you know, capturing, capturing leads and targeting and retargeting that kind of stuff. 
And so, but you know, the, the CRM, you know, if you have nothing else, the CRM grows is a great one. The, the, the cheaper, you know, one that we use that we, we license is called expert mentors. It's simply just a tool that allows you to send a, send a, send a video to one person and track whether they watched or not. That's a huge, it's a huge piece of the puzzle. Like if you don't know someone's watching the video, then you're going to have a real hard time knowing who to follow up with. So that's a really important thing, but CRM grow has that as well. It has the ability to do that. So those are, you know, that's uh, two, two easy ones that you can use. But, you know, the main thing is, you know, if you follow the process that, that we suggest, you know, you're, you're, you're playing the game of invite. Invite to live events. You know, you'll know which ones come to those. Um, invite to the, um, you'll know at a very personal level, right? So, like, I got, you know, six people. Uh, Al's got 15 people. I don't know how many he's got that are coming to the August event. And uh, I know each one of those people that are coming. <laughs> and, um, and you know, that, I don't need a CRM to track track where I'm at with those people. But they're there are people in my working hot bucket that I'm, I'm trying to get to a lot of events to get them pushed over the edge, um, which you want to invite. I think you want to invite everybody that you have that you spoke to that didn't say no, but they're interested, but they're on the fence. You want to get those people to live events. Um, and, and those are people that at some point probably watched the video and got on a call with you and had a conversation or got on a three-way call. And um, and those people you just want to, you know, they're, they're you know, I, I talked to a guy this morning. I won't share his name here just because it's not public that he's looking again. But, you know, three and a half years ago, um, you know, he made a decision to go one direction. We went this direction and this direction turned out to be a lot better. And it would have been for him, too. <laughs> but, you know, it's not too late. And now, you know, now it's time. Mm -hmm. but he's coming. And so, you know, we're going to we're going to get him. But, you know, sometimes it just take, you know, the, the tall trees have the deepest, you know, the deepest roots. You got to stay with them. And uh, especially the bigger the bigger whales, uh, they're all coming. It's just happening. It's going to happen eventually. You just got to make sure you're still the one talking to them when they do. Yeah. Well, I mean, you look at you know, people that, that threw the videos out in front of us and they just didn't follow up. They didn't keep tugging. They didn't keep tugging. And, um, you know, it's just, it, it really is just a, just a matter of matter of time, staying consistent. And, um, you know, after, after three-way call follow-up strategy, short and long-term, what, um, you know, I know Al has a philosophy around it. You know, if they're hot and he's, he's talking to them almost every day, um, kind of what, what's been, you know, kind of your process with, when it comes to follow up. Yeah. So, so, so really the, you know, the three-way call, um, having done, I don't even know how many, more than a thousand three-way calls since I've been in the company. Mm -hmm. I can, I, I can tell you the, the, um, it's really good to get on a three-way call and, and, and listen to, you know, somebody, somebody in your upline that's, that's done them before, um, and, and pick up, pick up, you know, the, the process. I mean, obviously when, you know, someone's edifying, uh, another person, that person is able to kind of ask more questions and get more information. And so, you know, it always starts with, you know, the very first question in a three-way call is, you know, what did you like about what you saw? And the reason we asked that question is because I used to ask a different question. It was, what did you like? What did you, what did you think? Right. What did you think about it? Uh, the video. And, you know, you get um, a lot of dumb answers to that question because it's a dumb question. So uh, we started asking a better question, which is, what did you like about what you saw? The reason we ask that question is because they tell you what they liked most, what really stood out to them um, about the business model. Also, will let you know if they actually did watch the video or not. Because um, do you think so, that, that also that also helps to identify kind of what what they're wrestling with the most? Right. Like what resonates with them is like that's the problem I'm trying to solve. So when they give right. you that information, that usually lends to that. Right. Yeah. And it's, you know, the, the psychology of it is that you're putting them into a, a position of what they liked. Right. And so mm -hmm. you're, you're framing the conversation around something that they liked that they saw in that video. And so that's, you know, that's usually going to give you an idea of, of a place that you, you're going to want to focus on later in the conversation. From that point, I just ask them, hey, tell me, tell me more about your business. Tell me, you know, kind of more about what your vision is and you know, what you'd like your business to look like and you know, where you're at, where you're trying to go. And, um, you know, let them talk, you know, it, you know, that's, you know, that's, that's the, the, the bulk of a three-way call should be you listening to them tell you about their business. And, um, you know, generally speaking, you know, it, it's, I think we've had a, enough experience in helping agents at all different levels that we kind of know when you're stuck, you know, we have the, the eight stages of the business. I'm not sure what that URL is, John, is it eight stages? The eight stages .com. Yep. The, so if you go to the eight stages.com, it kind of breaks down pretty pretty much what we understood the problem to be at every, at each stage, if you're stuck in terms of transactions based, you know, I basically based on like stage one, you know, uh, a certain number of transactions, stage two to, th you know, three, and each one, you're kind of at a certain transaction level. And if, but if you're stuck there, the problems are almost always the same. It always boils down to one or two things that need to be implemented to move to the next level. And so that, that, that gives you kind of a framework to think about like, okay, I'm talking to somebody that's doing this many deals. Well, this is their biggest problem. This is the next hire they probably need to make. 
that kind of thing. And so um, it kind of the makeup of their, you know, if they have a team or they have an assistant, that kind of thing. And it can vary a little bit, but it gives you a good framework to understand, okay, well, what's the biggest rock in their shoe and what do they need to do to get to the next level? And, and after we've coached thousands of agents over the years, you know, it, those, those principles don't change. It's, it's almost always the same thing. Uh, once we kind of understand where you're at, where you're trying to go, what's the thing that's missing. And, and I'll tell you from, you know, most, if, if I'm speaking in a room of a hundred or a thousand agents, it doesn't matter. It's 75% of the room is in stage two or three. And so, you know, um, you know, that that's the bull or really stages one, two or three, because there's so many in, that, that aren't selling more than 10 or 15 deals a year. But that, you know, their, their, their biggest challenge for the most part is, is how to get customers. And so this is, a, this is the biggest, you know, the biggest mystery we can solve for people is how to get customers. And if you've been in the business for a long period of time, and this will either probably resonate if you've been in the business a while, you have a certain sphere of influence and then you have, a, um, you know, past client database and, and people that, you know, repeat and come back to you and refer to you. Um, but it's not very predictable. And so you have these ups and downs and this, we call it the real estate roller coaster. And, you know, you have good months, bad months, and it's not very predictable. You never really know where that business is coming from. So then you go and you, you buy a realtor.com leads one day, and then next month you try Zillow, and then you try this or that or whatever. You try all these different things, but, like, there's nothing that's real consistently an oil well that's pumping in your business. And so almost always the conversation goes to, you know, how do we help them? Um, how do we help them solve that problem? And how is, you know, how are we going to do that at EXP? And so, you know, the fact that you're getting the tools um, and you're getting the coaching and the training um, and really the getting the, the tools and the ads and everything that you need in order to to implement so that you can you know solve that problem. You know, the difference in the cost per lead that it costs an agent to go buy that technology and go hire a coach or whoever is going to tell them how to do it because they don't know how to do it or they'd be doing it. And so and all of that goes into cost per lead. So you're spending a, a couple thousand dollars before it's all said and done. And you haven't even spent one dollar on that. So the cost per lead is really high. And so a lot of agents don't really have the budget to do that. And so when you come over to EXP, you have KV Core, you have all the what to do, which is all the stuff that we help with. Um, and, and they're actually spending a dollar towards going towards leads. And, you know, we've got people generating leads right now that are dollar sixty five a lead, which, you know, that's like 2015 math. And so those are, you know, those are some of the ways that, you know, in that conversation be like, I think that would help you the most based on what you're telling me. There's no question that we could help you take your business from 15 deals to 30 transactions. Um, you know, what's, you know, what, you know, what's the timeline that you would be thinking about making the move and then you know, kind of go from there. And so if, if in the beginning of that conversation, which a lot of times they do, they'll say, you know, well, the revenue share look pretty interesting, right? If they, you know, the, you know, if it gets to the end of the conversation and they haven't said what's the next step, um, which is what you want them to say, and it's ironically what they say uh, the, almost every time. If, if you if they're coming, they ask you what the next step yeah. is. Um, and and uh, and if not, then you don't want to end that call. And this was a mistake I made numerous times was not setting up the next call. Right, so you know that you got that call. It went well. They didn't say what's the next step, and so it went into you know, oblivion. You don't have no, no idea when they're going to reach out to you or when you're supposed to reach back out to them. And so, you know, towards the end of that conversation, if they said revenue share, let's say they said revenue share was the thing that was most important to them. I would say, um, I would say, Hey, you know, um, you know, we talked about a little bit about the revenue share, maybe show, show them a little bit of the opportunity, what the upside is. So, well, how much revenue share would you need to have a month coming in for you to say, this was the best decision that you ever made? And they'll tell you a number. Ironically, it's like most of the time it's five grand a month. And so I say, well, it sounds to me like what we need to do is we need to jump on a call and we'll lay out the plan for exactly how we're going to help you get, you know, get the passive income jump started. Yeah, and right. we'll show you the process for that. So then you schedule another call it could be with you or it could be with another person or whatever the case may be. But you never you always are engaging that setting up the next engagement. It's never no and never it's never. You know, it doesn't end, have an end point. You're just going to continuously set up the next the next engagement um, until you get, you know, until you get them clear or, you you know, you get clear on exactly what their timeline is. And so, you know, that now time this time of year is, you know, it's one of those it's one of those things where it's it's not easy to move if you're really, really busy. Um, and so they'll use that as an excuse. And so you kind of have to preface the conversation and say, listen, I know I get it. I trust me. It's never a good time to move. And if the strategy was going to be, we're going to try to wait till there's a gap where you're not doing business to make the move to EXP, that's just not a good strategy, right? Like we need, we need to come up with the, um, you know, we need to come up with a date. We need to reverse engineer, you know, the plan for how we're going to make this transition over to EXP as smoothly as possible. But just know there's never a good time. And it's, you know, don't, you know, don't feel overwhelmed, but that's, you know, there's, if, if you're going to wait for a good time, then there's never going to be a good time. The best time to join EXP was 10 years ago 
Um, you know, the same thing was like best thing, best time to plant a tree was 10 years ago. The next best time is today. Right. So, you know, you just want to get them and keep them excited and keep them moving forward in the process. Always have an invite in your pocket. Always know what the next step. Read Brian's question and I'm going to kind of hammer on this a little bit. Always have right. that. So if you guys, so I, you know, if, if this is the first time you guys have been tuning in to us, um, you know, I do an episode, we're on episode 150 something, 150 something straight weeks almost um, of Expert Mentors Live. If you go to EML Replays and search for the, the conversation that I had with Vincent Koo earlier this year. So I've had Vincent on before, but it's the conversation that we had this year. It was a couple months ago. He breaks down the principles to be successful at Agent Attraction, and we hammer home the invite. And he said, out of all of the steps, the number one step that you, the skill that you have to develop is the invite. And um, I can't, like, I can, we can sit here and talk about it all day, but go listen to Vincent. He just, he crushes it and it's perfect. And so mm. always have the invite in your pocket and uh, check out that episode. Did you read Bryant's question? Yeah. So, so um, yeah, I think, I think it, that, you know, I think the one, one exception to the rule with um, having them watch a video or having them have consumed something is, is, is when you, they probably know the business model a little bit, maybe not a lot, but that's the perfect that's the perfect situation where like you should be getting one of us on a call with that person. Like that should be the whole goal and say, listen, I know a guy, the guy, you know, one of the guys is making, you know, this month it was four hundred and twenty two thousand something, something. I wrote it down earlier, but you know, a month in, in revenue share, man, you, you know, you, you should have at least be one to jump on a call with this guy. Because I think if you saw what he's he's able to do and what you know, what you would be capable of doing if you were here, I think it would blow your mind. Right. Like you just get them excited enough to jump on a call. If you can make seven thousand in profit share at KW, you can make a hundred thousand EXP real easy. So like that, you know, it, it would be crazy to um, you know, crazy not to to jump on a call. And so, you know, leverage, I think you gotta leverage, you know, for whales, you gotta leverage people that are getting results that are just astronomical. And those are the you know, those are just one of those things you just text me and we'll figure out time. And so yeah. like if you got somebody like that that's so at least open minded to maybe jump on a call like that, then you know, it's usually worth my time to do that. And and, you know, we're going to take them through and I'm going to open up the back end and I'm going to show them exactly what I did. And, and, you know, when they once you see that, it's real hard not to imagine that, you, you know, you, you, you could look up three years, four years from now and have something anywhere close to that would be incredible. And so, um, you know, that's that's kind of the method I, I, that I typically use with those people, as long as they're not closed minded and, they're, you know, you're not dra dragging them. You, know, you don't have to club them over the head to get them to jump, get on that call. If they're just a little bit open minded, we'll get them a little bit more open minded on that call. Yeah. And, and and it's a process, man. It's you know, it takes time sometimes to get those folks. But, um, you know, if we can initiate that, um, you know, the, you know, they get off a call like that and, and they go they don't go back to thinking normal. It, you just can't like because, you know, you're they're already an achiever and, and in some cases a super achiever as it, you know, as it relates to the real estate industry. They just didn't know anything like this exists. It never has. And so, you know, people just don't even know what's possible. But. And once they see it, you can't unsee it. Yeah. And, so. and, you know, Brian also mentioned, you know, you, you've talked to him before, but that was last year before events were wide open. So what I would always say is like, you don't have to pay for their trip. Most people in that, in that scenario, get them to a high level exclusive event. We're going to have a private, we're going to have a private dinner with X, Y, Z, right? What did Brent Gove do for us? Hey, get your butts to get on a plane, get to Fort Lauderdale. I'm going to set up breakfast with the president. I'm going to set up lunch with the founder and, and CEO. And then I'm going to set you up with cocktails with the goat. And we're like, all right, let's go. Right. right. We had one of the most amazing days. We talked to the president over breakfast. We sat right in front of Glenn and Jason, got to hear the vision on, on a level that most people will never get to hear it. And then we had cocktails with, with Gina. And yeah. so it's like, get to an event, make them feel special, make them feel exclusive. And, um, you know, they're going to jump in. They're going to go. I mean, Brent didn't pay our trips. We paid the airfare. We paid the hotel. We just, we jumped and we went. And, um, you know, don't think that you have to cover that for them. You just get them excited about it and making them feel special. And it's going to have an exclusive conversation with some of the most influential people in the organization. Right. Yep. Yeah. And, and you want to choreograph that, you know, you get them to say yes to that. Don't just think the event's going to do all the heavy lifting. You want to choreograph who you want them to meet with, who you want them to talk to. Um, and, you know, and, and they, they might even know who they want to talk to, but you want to make sure you're, you're choreographing that whole thing because the, you know, there's, there's too many nights in a row at, at one of these events that you go to sleep going, man, 
this, there's something going on here. This is, this is a, an opportunity of a lifetime that, you know, when they, you know, by the time they're ready to leave, they're, they're, you know, way closer to making the move and they go back and they make decisions that they otherwise wouldn't have made. And um, it's like said, that. who's that? Carlos German is good at that. He's real good at that. Real good at that. As you were just saying that he's the first person that popped in my mind. It was like, dang, yeah. Carlos is brilliant at that. Yep. 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 Mm. He's been uh, consistent with um, mega, mega, mega team. And in fact, I mean, probably, you know, I, I don't think we, you could, you, you could definitely argue that uh, Veronica, you know, and Gil's businesses were way bigger than Carlos's, um, you know, and getting, they still were able to get him to these high level masterminds um, and help him make that move. He designed the whole experience. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like brilliant, 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 man. It was awesome getting to, uh, getting to catch up with all those people in Nashville, uh, for sure. What an experience, bro. Great. Uh, I can't believe we got to sit in that room, listening to that music we got to listen to. Yeah. Yeah. That was bad. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. I definitely think our sprint won. <laughs> yeah, we crushed, we crushed everybody else. We had the best yeah. experience. Yeah. Sorry, no sorry the other sprints, yeah. but uh, yeah. I think, uh, I'm sure it was good. I'm sure it was good. It really, really was. Man, on fire today. I love it. Um, and, you know, I think we've got to, to keep this conversation going on. There's just too much opportunity. Let's, let's, I want you to kind of, um, as we're coming towards the, the, the end of the hour here, you shared this in your opening presentation and you talked about the numbers and you talked about the real opportunity. Like a lot mm. of people are like, God dang Jay, you know, it's already passed me by. Right. Share, share yeah. a little bit of your presentation. I know I streamed it live yeah. in the your group, but um, man, share, share kind of what you were saying about the real opportunity in the coming years. Sure. So, so just to give context and, and some color to, um, you know, what, what, what the real numbers have been for us. Um, you know, I've been in the company 44 months that's uh, and total agents that, that we brought over, including those that have left was 126 agents. So that's 2.86 agents a month. Um, you could call it three, um, but it's not quite three. Um, agents per month. So th that's not a tremendous, that's not like a go, my goodness number, right? Like it's a, well, that seems doable number, right? Yep. And so um, this, this, uh, this month, like I said, like the register, this one was like 422. Um, it was $61 and 68 agent uh, dollars per agent. So when you take the entire agent count of the group um, and, and divide that revenue share with $61 and 68 cents per agent this month. Um, interesting. Um, so of that right now, I have 90 active agents, 51 FLQA. So that's my ratio, 90 active, 51 FLQA. Um, and I've seen that vary quite a bit, depending on if you have a team or not. Correct. Um, level six and seven. Okay. Keep in mind, you know, we're playing the long game here. So like if, if you know, you got to, you got to look past like where you're at and just know where, where the, what the future looks like. And so my level six and seven, my level six has 1,417 agents. My level seven has 2,037 that's 3,454 of the total agents that I have, which is 53% of my agents are on level six and seven combined. So the bulk of everything is, is, is in the, is in the end of this, as long as you bring some people who are attracting some people who are attracting some people and, and it doesn't have to be very many. I'll kind of go through that. So, um, the, or is, okay, so of the of the 126 agents that I brought over, only 54 of them have brought uh, uh, brought anyone over, at least one agent to the company, including the ones that left. Some of the ones that left still have. In fact, uh, Jerry Gent was here last night at my house. He joined and left and came back again, but you know he left the spot open. But I was yep. when I was pulling these numbers, I was like, Jared has a couple people that um, you know that were still here that he had brought, and even though he had left, and so um, he still had people growing underneath him, even though he left. And so, um, and I thought this was interesting. So, um, so only 42% of the agents that I brought on have brought over anybody. I wish that number was higher. Um, That's staggering. Uh, right. And then, um, so of the agents that I have, and this was, this is where, this is the one I think is probably the most, most, most interesting, if nothing else. Um, I have 
basically of, of, of the agents that I have, of all the agents, which is, you know, 126 total, mm-hmm. but only 54 of them have ever recruited anyone. Um, I only have uh, that have recruited at least 20 agents in, into their front line. Um, I only have five agents that have done that. They were all teams. So all of them were teams. I think all of them were teams. Um, so they, they came with maybe five or 10 or eight or whatever, but they have more than 20. So there's only five people that I brought into the company that had more than 20. Um, and I have seven agents that had brought 10 to 19, again, most of which are teams, um, and, uh, and 41 agents that have brought one to nine people over to the company. So 41 agents. Uh, so the majority, the large majority of agents that, that, um, that I brought in are, are, are not bringing in 20 plus people. That's just not how it works. You're going to get a handful of people like that if you're, if you're lucky, but, but that's not going to be, that's not going to be the bulk. The bulk of people are going to only bring over a handful of people. And um, you know, that's why you want to engage them with you know the process and make sure that they understand the opportunity when they come over. So they have friends in the business that they can leverage and get those people to come over. And you know that's it's, it's a little it's the little things that 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 move this thing you know deeper and deeper into you know creating a huge organization. But I just thought those were some fascinating numbers. And you know the, the bigger the bigger thing is just looking at the future. You know it's real easy for us to be you know you know it's you know it's uh, hard to see the picture when you're inside the frame. Um, you know, we're we're here in the business and it, we're seeing it grow like crazy. And it seems like we're, you know, we're later to the party than than what it really is. We're still very, very early in this opportunity. International is growing faster than any any company has ever internationally. Um, those those opportunities are opening up. Pe- people know people you, you can't control if, if, just because you don't know um, someone in a country or speak a language doesn't mean someone else doesn't. And so it can absolutely grow in those areas. But we're probably talking 150,000 agents in the next three years. So. <coughs> The first three years I was at the company, 50,000 agents joined the um, really the three and a half years. Is, it's 55,000 agents that have joined. The next three years are going to be 150,000. Three times more people are going to join the company in the next three years. So the opportunity is actually three times bigger um, than it was. And so, you know, now is the time, you know, the time to act. Now is the time to, to, to get serious about it. And um, and, you know, we're here to help. So. Uh, whatever we can do to support you guys. That's what we do. That's awesome, man. That's uh, when you, you know, we, we kind of know it, but sometimes when you're in the forest, right, it's kind of hard to, to see. And then when you, when you step back and look at the numbers, you're like, right. It's staggering. It is staggering. It really, really is. And, you know, <clears throat> I've heard it, you know, going through strategic um, and, and then her, hearing coach Burt, right. He said, anything worth building takes time. And, you know, you mentioned long game, long game. And, and, you know, Dan Sullivan says it, coach Burt said it It takes 10 years to build anything great. And then, you know, the, you know, on the flip side, people are gonna be like, well, Jay, you've done that in four years. And I'm like, bullshit. That's (laughs) to 20 years of just depositing value into the real estate industry as a whole that like, you know, it's the overnight success. You know, and it's like they don't see all the work that goes in, you know, leading up to it. And so just know, guys, it's play, patience. Play the long yeah. game. I, you know, I love, I love, you know, how Gary Vee breaks it down, right? On the macro, it's patience. On the micro, we're sprinting every day. Yeah. Every day. Cool. Brother, I love it. You're on fire. And um, definitely, um, what is it? Uh, what it, what the ESPN? Uh, Highlight reel. What do, what do they used to call the the great episodes? Yeah, it was good. I was pretty. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, it was. That was it. it was that good. was that it was. It was. That it Appreciate was. everybody's um, questions. Tuning in. If you guys have any um, any other thoughts, ideas, you know how to uh, to reach us, and uh, can't wait to see you guys next time. See you. Yep. All right. Peace. <laughs>